me. It's our last day in uh, Texas, so I'm about to train arms in Metroflex here. I know I'm going to get a great workout. I always do when I come to Metroflex here. There's something about the aura of the place. It's very hardcore. It's very simple exactly how I like it. I don't like to get too scientific in my approach to training or transforming. And, uh, you know, knowing people like Johnny Jackson, Branch Warren, Ronnie Coleman all train here, you know, it obviously produces champions and uh, it, it's just very inspiring and motivating every time that you come in here. You know, the equipment's very dirty, rusty, but it works, it's simple. It's all about the intensity and uh, with the music pumping and everything, as you can hear in the background, it certainly does that. So uh, let's get in there and uh, hit arms. Our workout today will consist of all supersets. We'll be starting off with the preacher curls and dips for three sets of around 10 to 12 repetitions each. You may be wondering why I'm putting massive chains around my neck. This is the hardcore way to add resistance and you'll look tough by doing it. Our second superset will be a double drop set for both buys and tries. These old school machines are definitely built to last, and with the rusted chains and welded iron, the weight definitely feels so much heavier. For my drop set, I'm just removing a chain from around my neck. If you're using a dip belt, then reduce the weight or remove the belt altogether. For the third superset, we'll be finishing up with a triple drop set. For our second exercise, we'll be doing rope extensions supersetted with barbell curls for three sets of 12 repetitions. A quick break and I'm back to it again for the second superset which will be a double drop set this time as well. We're now on to the third exercise. We're done with the drop sets today, but I'll continue supersetting close grip bench with hammer curls for three sets of 10 to 12 reps.
I can't get a closer of a grip than I normally would on this bench as it's designed for power lifting and has two supports on each side for safety purposes. So what I'm doing to offset this is lowering the bar to my chin instead of my chest, which isolates the triceps even more just with that wider grip and pointing the elbows out. If you start to fail on hammer curls, you can bring the weight across your body to engage additional fibers for less range of motion. It makes it a little easier, but this is still effective for forced reps. Our fourth and final exercise will be supersetting bicep cable curls with tricep cable extensions for three sets of around 12 reps. Remember to use a close grip on these because it isolates the triceps very effectively. Thank you for joining me again for another awesome workout in Texas here at Metroflex. We just did arms uh, and a great workout. Like I said before, it's a very hardcore atmosphere. So hardcore that I was even inspired enough to do some more on bicep. I, you know, I did uh, four exercises on biceps and triceps where I normally just have the energy to do three. And I've still got plenty of carbohydrates to get me through some intense workouts. I could lower my carbohydrates to increase the fat burning, but chances are towards the end my metabolism will slow down and I won't have the energy and I'm not going to be able to get the pumps during a workout as well. So I've got plenty of glycogen, so I'm feeling good. So uh, I can't wait to come down to Metroflex again uh, in the near future. So I'm going to have another meal now and make my way over to the airport and go back to Boise. So I'll see you then. Come back again for an awesome shoulder, calves and ab workout.